For the word of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kudash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and labor in the word and doctrine, Shalom and in peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Right, so the word of God, the word of Yahweh. Right, we'll say Bahasham Yahweh Shai. But truly, the word of Yahweh is Yahweh Shai. Or Yahweh Shai is the word of Yahweh. Right, quick. Which he says, you know, it's a spirit that quickeneth the soul. Sorry, the um, the flesh. Excuse me. It's a spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. Right, with the words that Yahweh Shai speaks unto us. Right, their life and a true word that right the word is quick and that doesn't mean you know speedy although it is you know the word can come let's see well the way that the word made flesh will come back will be quick you know every eye shall see him every knee shall bow tongue confess you know they even they that pierced him right which that's one for reincarnation but a different subject that so the word is quick, you know, and that means to quicken, to make alive, it's lively, right? We're known as them living stones, lively stones, right? To build up, up that, that priesthood, right? Of the, you know, the chief cornerstone, disallowed of men, you know, shunned by men, right? But Yahweh, the heavenly father, did choose him, right? And much to the many, to the dismay of many, of the Israelites at the time, you know, or Jews at the time. Which Jew, you know, mainly refers to the southern kingdom because the northern kingdom were, for the most part, you know, already away at that point. That's why you have it termed as the Jews, you know, or Judaism, the ways of the tribe of Judah, the ways of Judah, you know, which Judah itself is a tribe, Judah, one of the sons of Jacob. We also have Levi and Benjamin, that can be attributed unto Jewry as the southern kingdom, right? The kingdom split in First Kings, the eleventh chapter under or after, you know, Solomon, due to his sin going a whoring after different gods of his many women. You know, that was his downfall. It's written, you know, his heart wasn't perfect as his father David, right? Which you know David was covered. That also shows because David did slip up. You know, in the case of so then Bathsheba or Uriah the Hittite, you know, as the scripture speak of. But his heart was perfect. You know, that's what faith does. No one can say, you know, in the flesh they were perfect except for Yahweh Shai. You know, that word made flesh. That's why the word is perfect. You know, it brings it full circle. 360 degrees. Right, the word is quick and powerful. Which is powerful. You know, the word is the word made flesh is the one from who we get our covering granted of the heavenly father Yahweh you know you can't go to the father without going through the son you know which many Israelites take issue with that many Israelites take problem with that you know and that for themselves is a problem both in the ancient days you know the latter days until now you know that we have to remember you know looking at it from a Pasach or Passover perspective, ir irrespective, coming out with the big words, Moshe. Irrespective, you know, not regarding or not looking to, not spectating upon the season of the year, although that is very important as us culturally, but at all times of year, should we be perceiving this word as Pasach? You know, Yahweh Shai is our Pesach. That's what it's written, right? First Corinthians five and seven, and I'll read it verbatim or I'll quote it verbatim. As Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us, right? Hamashiach Pesach Noah, our Passover, right? Mashiach, the Anointed One, is our Passover. He is who, you know, makes that intercession. He is the angel of death, literally. And he's going to be our way out. And we're going to have a new Passover. 
right Jeremiah I believe it's 23 verse 7 Jeremiah 16 verse 15 we will have a new Pesach, a new Passover right no more shall the Lord be called great which brought out the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt you know but the Lord will be praised worshipped have his name exalted for bringing the Israelites out of the land of the north and through those lands wherein they were scattered meaning what Jake is scattered everywhere and the most important Passover the most important Pesach is yet to come you know that new Passover no more shall it be said which is you know it's often quoted everyone knows about you know the, the Ten Commandments everyone with and without you know with and without is true you know atheists have heard of the they'll see it as a story a fairy tale or what have you but the fame the reputation of the God of the Hebrews the God of the Israelites right we know him as Yahweh the holy power right Allah Shadya terrible demon like power right which brought great brought, brought excuse me brought great death upon Egypt brought great plagues upon Egypt you know Pharaoh could do nothing his magicians could do nothing and he could do nothing even if he wanted to have his heart ease it, it was the Lord that hardened his heart <laughs> let's not forget that it was the Lord that hardened his heart excuse me as true to the proverb the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai he turneth it whithersoever he will right so it's about the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai the will of the Heavenly Father Yahweh that gets exercised again irrespective right regardless you know it's written he has not respected he is quite literally irrespective okay irrespective and without spectation without looking upon who it is no regard to persons you know and that all of these you know qualities the Lord was famed for in Egypt well guess what there's a new Egypt so that's powerful sharper than any two-edged edged sword right there's no two-edged sword that is not visible yet causes as much destruction as this word you know the word made flesh the death angel that you know the word made flesh is you know that angel of death that passed over right so we always ought to remember Yahweh Shai as the the Passover you know whatever time of year that still happened the word of the most high is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit you know how, clo how much closer can you get right and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart so everyone I love God da -da 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 -da. you start bringing out the word then you can really discern you'll really see how down people are for quote unquote God maybe they are maybe the God of this world <laughs> not the God of Abraham Isaac and, ya and Yaquab no, Abraham where is it Yat Zachak saying that correctly and Yaquab right not the God of the Hebrews not the God of the Israelites that's why it says try the spirit for many <laughs> you know many deceivers many false prophets you know many false spirits you know, when someone says I'm spiritual, <laughs> I'm into spirits. All right, you can try the spirits, to test what spirit they're in. But Satan's a spirit. <laughs> Satan is a spirit. Yeah, you're very, you're very spiritual, but you're, you're incredibly. I've never seen the most spiritual man. But the spirit you're in, you know, a different spirit. That. All right. So the word of the Most High is quick, powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword. Let us not forget that. You know, all praise is to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachab Dash. Again, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom. Kal Halal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachab Dash. Shalom.